What's up guys, Sly Drake here, and we are back with Man of Medan, and my buddy, Daniel. What's up, man? Uh, hello. <laughs> you, come on, you don't have to be so scared, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, We're gonna die! Most likely. <laughs> I mean, it that is... That freaking eel. Yeah. Sorry, what? The eel scared the crap out of it... you. Yeah, oh. that was a scary eel, and that's not even supposed to be the, like, horror crap yet. Like, oh what the God. heck? Oh, <laughs> my It's gonna ramp up like crazy, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, most likely, but... Anyway, so we are right after um, Julia and Alex got up to the surface again, and Fliss and Conrad had, had an encounter with some mysterious fishermen, and they got pissed off. So we'll see where this is going now. So we're right after that happens. So let's see. This should be the night after, I think. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Uh -oh. No. Why is my controller vibrating? <laughs> Okay. It was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Oh wow. It was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles. So I'm Brad and you're Julia. Hey, that was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, so <laughs> you had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. <laughs> oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Oh, you found a bullet? Yeah. I can look at the camera to see everything that you took. That's cool. Oh crap, this badge. Conwin Island. I was totally right. Okay. Apparently Brad was right of where the plane came from. Well yeah, of course. Yeah. Why did you ask me that? I mean I'm just kind of anxious about like our future. Oh, hey, Fliss. Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Conrad's interested because he's one hell of a magician. Oh, yeah? Can you make yourself disappear? <laughs> Get them beers? Oh, yeah, the beers. Oh. I'm just getting them now. Conrad's flirting with Fliss again. Yeah, drink a couple of brewskis. Yeah. Probably not the smartest thing to get, you know, drunk in All the middle right. of the ocean, but. Here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Ah. Uh. So we can figure out why the plane was out here. <laughs> Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. <laughs> of course, I gotta go get it. Were you guys like in the plane when it broke? Oh. Got out in the nick of time. Skin of our teeth. Well, our skin was almost in a shark's teeth. What? Uh, yeah. Didn't I tell you there are sharks around here? Uh, no. Most of them are <laughs> dangerous. Oh, yeah. The, the friendly sharks. Ow. How do you think the day went? Other than our little tight 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 with the locals? Pretty good. People always say they have dive experience, but Alex and Julia seem to actually know what they're doing. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, why not? Let's dive again. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Come on, Daniel. Did you get the pad yet? I was 
I was looking at camera. Come on. I was there was pictures. I saw a skull skeleton here. Pretty cool. Uh not my strong suit. Hey, nothing to be ashamed of. We all hit our stride eventually. Me, I popped out full sprint, dragged my mom right off the table. <laughs> Ew. Right here. Ew. Okay. That <laughs> uh, Brad's. No resistance there. Brad already <laughs> had got sick, <laughs> so he's not gonna drink. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? Oh, gold. What do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Mm -hmm. Maybe the plane's destination. You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Who shot it down? From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew mm. is from Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, Why are you being on. so angry? This already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Ah, she's superstitious. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. We never think about Conrad. Well, maybe I never heard about <laughs> such cool ghost stories. They're not cool. He's agreeing ghost with stories. everything that Julia says. Not like for fun. People drive yeah. each other and you have to respect their resting right, uh, place. Damn Plus. straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Oh, I got a ghost story. I got a story. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Okay. Let's hear it. Ready to get scared? A good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Oh, God. I hope there's no actual scares no. here. <laughs> okay. Here goes. Yeah. This story is true. And it happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. I mean, of course. Story? Where'd you hear this? He's a creepy old guy, man. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin with a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. <laughs> stood atop a pole, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Conrad. <laughs> My God. He of the one track mind. <laughs> the woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, That isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? <laughs> Just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So gross. <laughs> okay, so who did it? <laughs> the woman says, It was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, He's hiding in there. Oh, great. Blame the brother. 
So the <laughs> keeper creeps oh. over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Oh my god. Terrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> what was that? Super <laughs> twist. <laughs> what was that? Nice one, Squire. Bro. No. Okay. What? You have me going. Pretty what? Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. <laughs> that caught me. I don't like that. <laughs> According to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regular issues are these? Uh, it's standard issue, regulatory institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh -huh. That makes no sense. Where'd you read that? <laughs> the internet. Oh, you yeah. found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. Back <laughs> when they were all happy, you know, before everything went to crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before they all die. Uh oh. Storm. Oh. Why are they showing them oh sleeping? God. Uh. This is gonna go horribly wrong. Uh. Oh. I'm Conrad, you neuro Alex. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh. That's not how a regular person opens a fucking door. What the hell? <laughs> no. What the heck was that? Uh. Um. Um. Oh. Come oh. on. Got him. Oh, he put a knife to my throat. <laughs> this guy put a gun to my fucking chin. Oh, we got caught. That sucks. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. We gotta play the smart, Daniel. Because we mess up, someone's dead. Very smart. Everyone's I'm not prepared. Kept. It's the fisherman. No, it's the fisherman. Oh. He's back. Great. Uh. That was lightning outside, by the way. Got it. I'm on gagging you because you're the player. Uh. Okay. Okay. Gotta be smart. Uh, should I talk to you? How many are there? Sure. I'll talk to you too. Who are these fucking guys anyway? What do they want? Money? This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, Conrad. Uh, why does he have blood on him? Oh, right, because I beat him on the head with a bottle. I broke a bottle on his <laughs> head. Oh no, they're taking Fliss. What are, what are they doing? Okay. Take Julia's gag off if you can. We'll have to see. Okay. Or she's gonna get out or herself. She takes out herself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she got it. Oh. You couldn't just get this tape off my face. <laughs> hey, so uh, we have the converse. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad 
news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great. <laughs> it's great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. <laughs> such an idiot. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Really? You couldn't free? Oh. Oh, dang it. That sucks. Looking out the door. Okay. Fliss is talking to the guy. Oh, there's someone coming back. Uh -oh. I don't know who they're taking. Remember? Oh, quick time events, quick time events, quick time events. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Okay, I got taken. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. <laughs> Not great. Oh, I just got punched. Oh, he's beating me. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Come on, quick time events. Give him to me. Point a knife at me. Please just stop. Slow down. Easy. <laughs> Please. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. Oh, it sounds like they might want to kill Conrad. He pointed a knife at him and he said we'll finish him later. <sighs> I almost got Conrad killed. I played it cool okay. for the most part, though. Okay. Uh, where are they? They're not going to take anyone? Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Yeah. I guess not. Okay, it's, it's just us. Oh, you got free. Yeah. Okay. I got scissors. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dollars to donuts, it'll be Fliss and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. Okay. Sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. My brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Okay. Let's get me untied here. Oh, we were using a key or something? Don't let them see your hands. No, this is it. Uh. If we could take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. They're gonna gonna give us a chance, are they? Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Look. What? I just saw the narrator standing in there. Oh. He was standing. I didn't see that? Yeah. He was standing back there. Oh God. That's okay. That's not good. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have? Oh, I want money. Okay. How do they not mm, notice yeah. that we're slowly freeing ourselves? Yeah. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. 
Okay. Maybe they did and they don't care. I don't know. I mean, they have the weapons. Yeah. Okay. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay. okay. Be very smart about this. Be very, very smart. Yeah. Oh no. One, two, three, four. No. Hey, don't. You have to wait until the oh. thunder. Oh. You have to wait until the thunder. <laughs> they heard that. Oh. They heard that. We are here. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Okay, I'm climbing out. See you later. Oh, this is stressful. I have to keep calm. Oh, I'm fighting this dude. Careful, man. Don't take it. Oh, I just stabbed him. Oh. Sorry. What? Uh. Oh, you have him hostage? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. 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 Uh. I ducked! I ducked! Oh my god. Oh! I made it! We can't catch him with his little junker. Comrade escaped. Oh. Nice. I think if I didn't duck, I would have been dead. Uh oh. Oh. Jesus. Bro. Over there. Oh. That was so close, man. He's not very nice. Everyone's in their underwear. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Oh, they found the Manchurian gold thing. <coughs> that isn't good. So does that mean that Conrad is gone for the whole game then? Maybe. I don't know. He might show up later. Okay. Well, the cast is already smaller regardless. Yeah. I'm Fliss now at the moment. Where's... Oh, sorry. No, you could... Where's Brad? I don't know. I saw a premonition of him hiding. In one of the himself. under one of the beds, maybe he's there. Shut the uh. up. <laughs> there is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. Hey, come on. 
just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. <laughs> so they're pirates. Oh, oops. Ooh. I missed. I didn't get you. <laughs> I missed the quick time. Me too. Gotta be more careful. You come with me. Oh, I'm going up with the captain apparently. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Do you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Get it. Okay. Weather update. Over. Gotta be careful. We read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Okay. I don't want to try and get any of the other characters killed on accident if I try to escape. Uh, yeah. Oh. I just got hit in the head. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Oh, you guys coming up? Gotcha. Hey, move it now. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. it could <laughs> As she yells that. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Daniel, are you seeing this? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. It's the boat. <laughs> uh. Uh-oh. That's oh not good. How is it still afloat? Yeah. Everyone's still alive. Huh. Things could have been quite different. Interesting. Damn. I am so happy that I did not get Conrad killed. You appear to have saved somebody. Yeah. It's a bold move that paid off. This time, 
But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Okay, you're in agreement. Clue it is. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached the so. point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Scott. Probably shouldn't have said that. Oh. Uh. He told us something about the story <laughs> unintentionally. Okay. Uh oh. I mean, every clue we can get, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that seemed to suggest that, like. Conrad being god, gone might not necessarily be all that helpful. So, like, maybe it would have been better if he was here and alive. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's one less character, right, that we have? Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's what helps run the boat, I think. Uh. Oh, here we go. I don't even give people shoes. Yeah, what the? Gonna walk around on a rusty boat? Good luck with that tetanus. Yeah, really. Jesus. Oh, I'm Julia, apparently. Oh, you're Triss. I mean, Fliss. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We're gonna die. Most likely. Ooh, what's this? Yeah. Hey, I was gonna read that. Jerk. What the hell, man? Now what is he gonna think I'm gonna do? Like, beat him on the head with it? <laughs> yeah. Uh. What was that? What happened? I saw something. You saw something? I don't know. Okay. Uh, oh, did she lose bracelet or something? I guess so. I don't know what that was that she dropped. Oh! oh. Uh, oh. there's a dead hand. Oh, no. I guess. I don't like this place at all. Okay. Is that a cross? 
What? Did you see something? Uh, no, this room is where the dead visor was at. Oh. Or is this a different room? It might be the same room. Oh, what's that? It's a uniform. Miller. Oh, I think that's uh. I think that's Joe's uniform. Uh. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's down here. Oh, sorry. Bumped you. Oh. No, you're good. Oh, here's Alex. I don't know where we're going, man. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, there's a rat. Oh, eh. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something here. Oh, really? International Internal Memorandum. 14th Division Army, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conventionally, it's always when he was guard duties in hold 3A. First is 24 or 0. Check the chart for rotation. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down here. Maybe Patterson should buck it up. Just get on it. Huh. Oh, I kept it. Interesting. This is crazy walking down the ship. Yeah. Okay. All of you. Into the room. Okay. Oh god. They're isolating us. Or they're putting us in a room. Yeah. Oh. That's not good. That was actually kind of nice. Huh. Unexpected. Yeah. Oh, you have a lantern. Oh, I didn't get it. There you go. Oh, Alex. Whoops. <laughs> Your facial expressions. Have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. <laughs> Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. Hmm. Nah, probably not. You can't just sit <laughs> around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. Okay, I didn't mean to necessarily say that, but... We need to call the Coast Guard, but the Duke's radio is shot. We gotta find a radio on this ship. So... What's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a painting over here, I think. Oh, okay. Miss J. Rivera. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers. Don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you safe. Yeah. This guy Miller was really freaked out. 
Mm. I, I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe, too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a me mechanic. We get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Miller. Interesting. Okay. Okay, what's this? Glasses. It's creeping me out. Mm. I'm gonna look at the... Are you listening in on them? Yeah. Okay. I wonder what happened. Here you can listen on them, I think. Over here. Oh, you want to go get it? Uh, I'm not sure. You can get it if you want. Okay, they're not saying anything at the moment. Okay. Hey. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Plan? These guys do not seem like the planning type. What do you think is going to happen? You think they're going to kill us? I mean, they probably would have already if that was the plan, but, but you, you know, you hear all the time about how kidnappings go wrong and... I don't want to think about that. We're going to get out of this. Hey. So, what do we do? Escape is our only option. Kidnappings rarely end well, even if they think there's a ransom. We got to find Brad, too. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Okay. I'll take a look around. You good with trying to escape? Just be careful. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. Maybe... Oh, wait, hold There's on. There's something here in the wall. I can move this. Wonder why it's abandoned. I okay, all just missing an Iraq. Hey. Look. Look at this. What did you just find? Oh. A vent. Yeah. I'm gonna go see if there's guards coming. Oh, What's he up to? Is he having trouble? Maybe we need a tool to help. How's it looking? I can't get it open. Come here. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Just smash through this wall. No, I got this. Someone should create a distraction. Okay. This is gonna be loud. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Do you want to try <laughs> barricading or? Uh. Sure, you have to decide. Sense, I mean, yeah. I mean, or you can try and convince them. Yeah, I'll barricade. Hey, hey. You got it. 
Uh, I don't know if I... Oh, Alex is gonna help you. Oh wait, I am? Yeah. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Push it. Okay, we got it. We got it, come on. Hey. We got it, okay. We got the vet. Uh-oh. Oh, did I accidentally leave you? Oh no! Uh -oh. No, I I left. No. Uh -oh. Dang it! I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Sorry, Daniel. I didn't mean to screw you over like that. <laughs> no, you're good. Ah, oh, great. This guy isn't too hostile. Okay. Oh, you're Alex, and I'm Julia. Yeah. Okay. You can explore different rooms and stuff, so. Yeah. I'm not talking. Guard personal found breaking any of these accusations. Okay. Not too important. See if this door can open. Oh, I oh, opened the door. Uh, I hear something. Oh, there's something in that. Oh, dirty clothes. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what was that? Rat jumped out and scared me. <laughs> oh my God! Not a cool game. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> that was <Okay>. not cool. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Want to move on? Mm -hmm. Sure. Nice. Move it. Oh, sorry. You can Ooh. move. Sorry. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me go first. I see how it is. Hi, you were doing the same thing to me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's that noise? Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Fell over. Fell or pushed? I don't know. I didn't do it. <laughs> Cargo two hold out. Out of bounds. I think that was where they were storing the... Cargo, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Anything down here? Oh, there's uh, a which way. That's. Oh, yeah. There's a light down here, I think. How's there still a light down here? Oh, there's a. There's a note. Dear Ellis, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best cause. Sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't know, don't like them reading our letters. I know really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guy are, guys are too far too slick now the war is over. I bet they edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. It usually means I'm about to get real busy for a while. Oh, he was writing it. He was writing it as soon as during the thing happened. Where did you go? 
Oh, I'm right here. Such assholes. She's a tough cookie. Yeah, that could only get her into more trouble. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Hope she keeps her cool. Uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Surprised we didn't get jump scared again. Yeah. Uh I'm not sure I wanna find out. Uh oh. You gotta keep going. No. Oh, the no sign. I yeah. cannot take any more of this. Julia. No no no. Oh. No, I can't. I, I can't do it. Julia, you gotta calm oh. down. What's down there? Boat. Big engine. Blood. Uh, Boat. Blood. What? <laughs> and the engine. Maybe it was rust. Oh. But. Okay. Oh, I just saw someone oh. move. Uh, I saw a silhouette of a man move. Is there anything we can use down here? Uh, uh, gonna get out of here. This isn't good, man. Could be Brad, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully, you know. Oh, what's over here? You want to read it? Yeah. No, you can. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it's. I don't think I can open it. Oh, wait, never mind, I can. I just had to let go. It's a diary. Yeah. I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright. Um, to carry out the necessary welding repairs, I would advise the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movements could cause the ship to break its back. That was June 19th. And then on June 20th, the day after, I respond to a complaint that some electric electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the sol solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Uh, June 21. June 21. I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there's any loss of pressure. June 22nd, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm, which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through moisting cable, hoisting cables aloft deck, which has left damage. The grease has, the grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I re received reports that the main problems caused by a storm are with electri electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I will have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. And that was the night that the storm actually hit. Uh, oh god. Uh, that was crazy. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was you. I was handing it to. Okay. Oh, yeah. Think okay, so I can just read all this. I don't need to read that. Okay. Okay. I saw your hand reach over, and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I was afraid for a second there because it was like. Okay. It's like, uh oh. Yeah. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hole for a big surprise party. <laughs> Funny. Oh, what's this? The hell? Oh, I found a painting. Oh! 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 Oh my god. That arm just grabbed me. What happened? Uh, something just grabbed me. Uh, okay. Pick this up over here. Maybe they'll grab you too. Okay, hold well, on. I gotta see something. Oh, never mind. 
I just saw it's something like, like that. Uh oh. I saw a premonition. There's like a tiny little like dinosaur like figurine skull on the table. And I picked it up and a freaking arm grabbed oh, me my God. and like ripped it out of my hand. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, that is not good. It's still over here. Things. You could pick it up. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll grab you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where is it? Oh, wait, hold on. right there. Oh, no, I'm good. What? <laughs> I don't know oh why. Oh, my God. Oh, there's another journal over here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this is all about. There's a painting down there, down the way, if you want to go and check it out. Okay. Okay. Thursday 12. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. You know, Joe and Charlie. Um, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and he's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with the feller who had helped me, who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. B, he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were an old, any old grunt. So they paid special care to, like, put the coffins in place. It got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Friday 13th, booze was a bum loss, Perez said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said that they made some hooch for, from some supplies they lifted. Meeting up later down on 6th to check it out. Saturday 14th. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Got a, gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're going to take a look tonight. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. That's, yeah, That I don't like that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting. <sighs> okay. So, that is about the hour mark here that we got for today. Um, a lot of stuff happened. We got kidnapped and forced to, you know, be on this boat by pirates and Conrad got away. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like and leave anything down in the comments. If you want to say anything about the video, uh, Daniel, have anything to say on the outro thoughts on the episode? Iceman escaped. Yes. That's yes. all that matters. Iceman. It kind of it kind of sucks though, cause I kind of wish that I had his character around. You, I kind of liked him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But hopefully he lives, right? Unless he got killed in that storm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Like he could have, he could have died out in the ocean. Oh, that's. Yeah. Oh God. Dang it. Anyway, we'll have to <laughs> see in the next episode what happens and. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.